Hello and welcome to Teeny Bee Tarot. Thank you for joining me again. I'm very, very, very appreciative of that. Um, today we are doing a pick a card reading on how to move out of your comfort zone. How to say adios to it. <laughs> Alright, so for pile A or one we've got this kitty, we've got this lucky cat. For B, we've got this beautiful, beautiful geode. For C, we have got a die. It is raining today. Um, don't know if that'll be picked up or not. My dog does not like rain, <laughs> so she might be in the background whining. Um, I'll give you guys a minute to focus on an object or a pile, whatever, whatever pops out at you. Already. I'm going to begin with the cat and then the geo and the sky. So here we go. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Rejoice in celebration. Temptation. Spiritual strength. Alright, we've got Page of Pentacles. Sorry, I was writing some stuff down that kind of popped out at me. Seven of Wands. Nine of Swords. The Tower. Four of Swords. We've got another Nine of Swords, <laughs> another Seven of Wands, we've got a Knight of Wands, we've got Six of Swords, we've got another Knight of Wands, we've got Two of Pentacles, we've got Knight of Pentacles, and then we've got Four of Pentacles. So I'm going to check something real quick.
All right, there we go. Okay, let's begin. So for you guys, Alright, here we go. So, for you... You guys... <laughs> are... Alright. Your temptation, your desires, what you're wanting... You're in your comfort zone, right? So, this is about breaking free of it, and you're scared. You're scared because you're in your comfort zone. You're in your, you're in what suits you. Your, your desires are suited. You're filled. You're complete. You've got what you want. You've got what you need. You're, you're good to go. You don't really, you're not needing to move on or you're not really well you're in a place of the thought of moving on is scary it's scary to think of moving on and to leave this baggage behind and these false ideas because um when i i paused when i was pulling out your cards because i wrote down um I wrote down something which, if I say what I wrote down, is probably not going to make sense, so I'm going to try to explain it. Um, you might be oppressing yourself, you might be kind of um, not allowing yourself to be expressed. You've also got, like I say that as well, because you've got the Seven of Wands, which is about sticking, well... It depends on the situation. It could be about sticking up for yourself. So maybe you need to stick up for yourself. Maybe you haven't spoken up for yourself and you need to. And that's a step forward. And that's that's the beginning of getting out of this comfort zone. Is learning how to stand up for yourself and speak. And But you're also on the defensive. It's not like, yes, you need to speak up for yourself. But in a way that's not putting yourself in a defensive mode. Um... It's not, no one's going to take you seriously if you are coming off defensively. They're not going to listen to you. They're just going to laugh. Um, so you've got a lot. There's a, there's work to be done. There's quite a bit of work to be done. Again, over here. Um, <laughs> you've got ideas. You've got thoughts. And you've got... passions and enthusiasm you do have this in you and it's about taking the next step forward and that doing that is kind of right here because you want to do this you want to move forward but you are at this place of everything is going fine everything is how I like it I mean not necessarily might not necessarily mean that everything's going fine just that you're comfortable with how things are going. You're just used to how things are going. It's just how things have gone. No, you don't really need to stay in that kind of state. You can you can bring these ideas about like you can bring them into your world.
and it will take work you you're gonna you're gonna have to work out what to to get from the page to the night you, you have to do you have to take the steps forward you have to go through a process and this is about getting out of your comfort zone so get that is the beginning of this to move you forward is to get out of this comfort zone so that's what you're working on is bringing these ideas about and feeling these ideas and having these working on them and making them something and diving into your passions so then over here this is about the process on how to move forward um now <laughs> i don't know if you have gone this is about you've gone through hurt you've been hurt you've um been pushing forward and you've gone gotten through it so now this is about going in retrospecting going self in your mind going in your mind and looking back at everything that has happened and seeing how you can further yourself how to build up from what you have experienced and then the tower this is about shaking up your beliefs and something happened that's got you I don't want to be in this state anymore I'm tired of being afraid to move on I want to move forward something's got you thinking something's got your gears turning you're you're thinking about what you want in the future and you're thinking about what you want in your material world this could very well be a job um, you're in a place that makes you feel very unhappy you're very unhappy in this place and um, there's things that are more suitable for you that would bring more happiness and more passion and more fun to you um, and now it's about speaking your ideas and speaking about what's going on in your head and getting those gears turning so that you can move on and you can keep going and can move forward um, and you can keep doing the work to further yourself and keep progressing and moving on from the situations that don't favor you anymore but you have to realize what those situations are you have to you have to go in and you have to find the courage and you have to get the sense of self and confidence for yourself in yourself within yourself and then the tower and this is about changing this is a big change in your life a major something is coming down on you i don't i don't it might be negative it might be something that it's taking you by surprise so i don't know if it's that's how you take it how you interpret it so i'm not going to say it's negative that's how you're going to interpret it but it's going to be shocking or it has been shocking and it's really got you in a tizzy which maybe this event has caused you to think hey i might need a i might want to start speaking up for myself i might want to start because you did get this out twice so you, you these two did come out two times i will point that out so you really are needing to speak up for yourself and speak your truth and um let go of these fears. you gotta start letting go you gotta start letting go and moving on you gotta leave the baggage behind you have to move on it's about going on a journey you've got you've got a ways to go you see where you are you feel the things that are happening you know that things are <laughs> going kind of haywire right now or they have been haywire and now that has opened new doors for you it's opened it's given you new perspectives you've gained new percep perceptions of things that maybe you weren't i don't want to say <sighs> ah. you've gained new things you've gained new wisdoms you've I haven't gotten here yet but I'm gonna come over here down here this is about the again this is double energy you're really the passions 
maybe maybe something happened at work that made you, made you open your eyes and say, like, man, I really don't like this. I don't like this anymore. I want something that brings passion and happiness and joy and fun to my life. And I want to go out and I want to get that and I want to create that and I want to go forth and I want to work to, to get there. I want to balance out my life. I'm tired of juggling things around. I want more stability. I want more things going right. But isn't that kind of funny? You have to, to get more stability to get a nice, a firm, positive ground underneath you. You have to get out of your comfort zone. So if you want to get to a stable life and a stable situation that makes you happy and suits you, you have to get out of your comfort zone and you have to stop feel. you need to find a way to let go of these fears and these anxieties because they're not doing you any better, they're not giving, there's no benefits to fearing the future and fearing, I don't even think it's about fearing the future, I just think it's about fearing what, the way you think and how you think and fearing what other people are going to think of you and that doesn't matter you don't need speak speak your truth speak what you feel speak what's going on within you maybe you are a very spiritual person and what you believe is kind of wonky to some people and that's kind of it's off and they they might think that you're a bit strange so what so what be yourself go out and find embrace those passions because you want to you definitely want to embrace the passions it's just about finding, maybe you have to find the passion, but through this journey, you have opened yourself up, or you are opening yourself up to spiritual strength, you've got spiritual strength, so you are opening yourself up to new experiences, new wisdoms, new um, energies, you're giving yourself more opportunities, and you're building yourself up, that's what you want, you want to build yourself up. And through this journey, you will be building yourself up. It is a lo not necessarily a long journey, but it is a journey. And through that journey, you need to remember to be happy and to rejoice in celebration and to have fun. Because if you start right now, if you start having this and you keep this, it's just going to continue to build. The momentum of the celebration and the happiness is going to occur. You're going to keep building up. So maybe start... So maybe it's finding those passions and starting working on those passions and that can build the momentum up for you to constantly feel that good and but you have you have to feel good yourself. So find something in you that makes you feel good and keep building on that. Build up that momentum, keep that going. So how to get out of your comfort zone? Ooh, there's a bit for you. Pay attention to things that are happening. See what's going on in your life. And you... Speak up for yourself. Don't be on the defensive. Stop being on the defensive. Let go of that. So you've got the Six of Swords. It's about letting go of baggage. Moving on to calmer waters. Moving on to better things. And that's what you want. That's the desire. And you got to first start by letting go of the baggage so that you can move on. So... <clears throat> Maybe think about things, be mindful about how you are thinking and change the way you're thinking and think about things in a better way, in a better light. And start speaking your truth. Definitely start speaking how you feel and what's going on in your mind. Or writing it down or just expressing yourself. Not necessarily speaking, but just expressing yourself. Be open and be honest and be expressive. Don't hide yourself anymore. So now we've, so yes, be expressive to get out of your comfort zone. I know it might be silly, but start expressing yourself. I feel you guys are kind of a little bit more so on the introverted side. You don't want to express yourself and you don't want to embrace, because temptation isn't necessarily bad. It's not, it's not bad. A lot, there's a, there's not a very good perception of temptation, but it isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing. I'm not going to say it's a good thing, but it's a... It's not a good and it's not a bad. It just is. If you want something and it makes you feel good, do it. Don't. doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter the preconceived ideas. It doesn't matter. If it makes you happy, if it feels good, go for it. Do it. Enjoy it. Speak up. 
I mean, you don't have to speak up, but just express it. Just express how you feel. Express what makes you feel good. That's what you need to do. Express what makes you feel good. And continue on that feel-good journey. So that you can continue to build up and continue to have this happiness and this feeling of celebration. So, okay, I am through with you guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys will like and subscribe, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Soda, soda pop. Okay, um, we're gonna go to the geode. G -g 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 geode. Hello, my geodes. How are you guys doing? So, I guess, yes, we'll just put you over here. Why not? So, here we go. Oh, oh, alrighty. So, you guys got quite a few of these cards. We've got hope. Oh, I should put it up here. Material harvest. This is how to get out of your comfort zone. Obstacles and challenges. Base chakra. Then we've got patience. Movement, choices, and decisions. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So now for these groups, we have got the Knight of Wands. Ooh. We've got Judgment. The Ten of Wands. The Sun. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Strength. Whew, okay. <laughs> We've got King of Pentacles. My back is giving me grief today. We've got Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, Two of Swords. All right, all right, all right, all right. And now we have got Eight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting kind of some dreary energy, just saying. Um, King of Cups. And then we've got Nine of Wands. So, I'm going to check something out. So, bear with me. Okay, so for you guys, let me. I was looking at the time, sorry. Um, let me get you guys in order.
Mm. All right. So, I don't think you guys like yourselves all too much. Um, well, there's something about your situation you're not comfortable with. You don't really like. So, we've got obstacles, challenges, then you've got ten of wands, burdens, and then seven of pentacles. Um, waiting around for things to work out and things to come about and um, I mean there is some slight hopeful energy with that but there is a lot of unhappiness here. You're in a not so great state so I'll just put that out there and you're gonna take it's gonna take some time it's gonna patience it's gonna take some time for you to work through this because this is some um, deep <laughs> some deep dark shiz up in here um slow movement energy things aren't really going anywhere for you I don't think this is so much a comfort zone. I don't know if I already said this or not. No, I don't think I have. Um, a comfort zone necessarily isn't that you're comfortable. It's just something that you've been, that you're just used to, that you're, you've just been, it's not something, not necessarily that you feel good in it and it's satisfying. It's just that you've been experiencing it and it continu you continue to experience and it's just something that's continual. So, your comfort zone is not very much a comfort zone as much as it is kind of like a personal hell. Um, and you <laughs> are at a very... God, you have so much potential. There's so much joy and so much... Ooh, there's a lot of work to do for you guys. Um with the base chakra ground yourself I would spend more time in nature go out in nature um, be barefoot on the grass earth um, definitely definitely get yourself out and connect to the earth because you are in your head you are very very in your head and there's a I'm, I'm like going kind of slow because of just this energy is just very ooh um sluggish <laughs> and then you've got the judgment nine of wands and then two of swords eight of, eight of wands and king of cups okay this here I'm judging this is judgment looking at your own not faults but looking at your own self and seeing how you could improve um how you could get yourself into a higher state um instead of constantly having your guard up and being um on the what's it called i don't know hyper aware hyper vigilant um Instead of being that way, you, you're choosing between feeling how you've been feeling this judgmental, nasty way versus moving on from that feeling and loving yourself and filling yourself up with that stable love, self-love. Um... So you've you've got you've, you're stuck between wanting to move forward and wanting to just continue what you're doing, continue feeling how you've, you've been feeling because I mean, is how you've been feeling, and this 
whether it's a job that's making you feel this way or it's a relationship that's making you feel this way or it's your i mean it all comes down to you and how you think and how you feel your thoughts create your reality so it all comes back to you regardless of the situations around you it it but anyways whatever the situation is in regard to um i think this is about self-love i really do this is about really finding self-strength self-love having your own back um and this isn't something that's gonna happen just it's not just gonna oh you're good to go no this is gonna be something that you have to consistently work on you have to put it's a goal you have this goal in mind this goal is to bring you this enthusiasm this fun love and energy as well as the um emotional you want the passion you want the emotion you want the thrill you want vitality you want the thrill of life you want all of this you want the happiness you want the joy you want the celebration you want the gratification and the satisfaction that is the goal that is your goal that's what you want but it's not going to happen overnight it's going to take work and you're going to have to put in the effort you're going to have to have the strength to continue to be happy because <laughs> it is it is effort it is work to maintain and be mindful of the thoughts that you think and maintain a positive attitude it's effort there's a lot of effort that goes into maintaining a positive outlook but I do think you have the hope. You you see you see the potential. There is so much potential. And it's the love and it's joy and it's the happiness and the what again, more vitality. It's the youthfulness. It's the it's the beauty of life that you are searching for and that's that's what you will receive if you do the work. That is your outcome. Your outcome, your outcome is beautiful. You've got so much yellow. You see all that yellow? That is vital, young, fresh, joyous energy. And you that is your outcome. If you do the work, if you work on yourself and feeling good about yourself and getting the self love and self acceptance and you make you do the work, you make sure that it is a consistent thing. You work on yourself consistently. It's not just a Oh, I'm going to do it one time a week. No, it's an everyday thing. From the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. And it's not always going to be butterflies and rainbows. It might take a little bit more effort some days than other days. Some days you might not want to do anything. And okay, you don't have to necessarily do everything every day. You don't, I mean, you need to start somewhere. So start somewhere build it up build it up if you have to i mean it's just being mindful anytime you see you feel yourself having an unpleasant thought an unpleasant feeling why what was that thought that triggered that feeling and then ease the feeling or change ease the thought or change the thought think of something that makes you feel good that makes you feel happy focus on what makes you feel happy and what makes you feel good because that's what you want that's all that you want is to feel good and feel happy and to have this joy and this passion and this celebration and to be emotionally fulfilled and you just you want it all and you want it all and movement choices and decisions you make the choice to move forward you make that choice in the material harvest again it's about getting yourself in a place that is a positive place that can get you someplace <laughs> because this feeling that you everything is you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders and this just this unhappy lethargic depressive energy that's not getting you anywhere so you can choose to move on from this unhappy judgmental energy towards yourself this critical non-helpful energy towards yourself and you can choose you can make the decision to move on with self-love 
wake up every morning and say I love myself today is a loving day and I choose to love myself because you deserve love you deserve to love yourself that's where it all begins is loving yourself and be patient with yourself you, it's not just going to happen. You're going to have to work on it. And you're going to have to take your time. So don't get angry with yourself. Don't don't start self negative. Don't start negative self negative talk. Don't don't start that up again because that's not. It's just going to keep this this cycle going. It's not going to get you anywhere. Be mindful. Be mindful of what's going on in your reality. Be mindful. Choose what you focus on. Choose what you see in your life. Choose. Make the decision on what you want. You can choose to be this happy, joyous, celebratory, fun-loving person, or you can choose to be this miserable, unhappy person. It's your choice. You make the choice. But you've got to be mindful, and you've got to be patient, and you've got to understand that things aren't just going to change overnight, that things will take some time to get the momentum going. Because you've had many, 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 many minutes many 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 i'm not gonna say minutes but i'm gonna say thoughts you've had many thoughts going towards this energy and not so much going towards this energy so now it's about being mindful about what you are bringing into your material world so guys i am finished with you and i hope this resonated Ooh, i hope you guys had a lovely time visiting my channel hope you like and subscribe and have a lovely lovely rest of your day I forgot to do something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Alrighty, my dice people. So we have got conflict and defeat, fulfillment of wishes, positive movement forward, disruption, third eye chakra. We've got Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the World, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, not Wands, my bad, Swords. Five of Swords, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, oh, another Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands, and King of Cups, alright, so some balance energy, that's good. We've got four of wands. Oh, we've got another ace of wands. We've got eight of cups. Alright. Two of cups. I guess I'll put that. And then we've got another ace. An ace of pentacles. Okay. So. Let me get this all right here.
so what else have we got? That's all oh, I'm feeling. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. this over here, okay, so we'll just, we'll just, we'll dive in, how about that? So, over here, conflict and defeats, disruption, five of swords and seven of swords. Hey, up in your head, Arya. Um... You've got some disruptive thoughts going on. You're feeling like you have to compete and you have to do anything and everything no matter the costs. So this is not a very fun place to be, huh? This feels kind of like you're on high alert. You're kind of stressed out a little bit. Um, feeling like you can't express yourself. You have to hide things from people and that's not so fun, huh? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you've got some secrets going on, something that can't be talked about. Um, work. Maybe this is a work-related thing where you're not allowed to talk about anything. Like, you're not allowed to talk about what's happening. I don't really know, but you definitely have some very, very, very intense work energy going on here. There is, um, I'm feeling that there is some form of transformation within your career, within your work. You've also got this down here. That's where she wanted to be. There we go. Um, so you've got, um, this, I've got to do anything and everything, no matter the cost, doesn't matter how it affects me, doesn't matter how I'm feeling, it doesn't matter, which that is not true because it does matter, you really do need to focus on yourself, um, you need to get that love for yourself going on, there's a lot of different things going on here, are you guys like, oh, Maybe your career and your job are intertwining and you're having some issues with both of those because I, I, I don't know, I'm getting the, this kind of like split, like these two things. Maybe you have to hide something from your partner because of your job. I don't really know what's going on, but I am getting kind of some split energy. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting a bunch of different things going on here. Um... But you do have the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, and then you've got this couple here. So you've got some balance going on. Um, or This is very, very strange. Um, positive movement forward, fulfillment of wishes. Okay, very positive energy, but you've, you're stuck here. There's a lot of this having to put up defenses. I don't know why you have to put up these defenses. But they're very strong, and they're very, they're very there, and they're very bothersome to you. So for you, had to move on. Got to find a way to not let these issues bother you so much. Um, so you do have the Ace of Pentacles, so maybe that is finding a new job. Whatever the situation is, maybe finding a new start um and getting a new um maybe moving um maybe you're in a real i don't think this is a negative relationship if you're in a relationship it doesn't seem negative whatsoever like this really doesn't seem overly negative it just seems there's a lot of like secrets and you can't speak to someone and you have to you can't speak and it's causing a lot of issues like there's just <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what this is, but you do have, I mean, over here, this came out twice, so this is Spark of Life, a new venture forward, and new, I did just get a um, new hobby, so maybe something's coming up like that, 
but finding a new passion finding what makes you feel happy and what makes you feel good definitely that's that, that energy is really there you've got a lot of there's a lot of positive energy here um so a new start a new and definitely with the work okay so i'm definitely getting work i'm definitely getting love i don't you're like just things are coming together everything is just coming together perfectly wow you guys wow you fulfillment of wishes positive movement forward this is okay i'm just gonna because i'm trying to figure out what this means and trying to give it a little bit but i'm just gonna this is what i am getting you are going to have a new um job a new start you're going to and you're going this job is going to bring in the passion the love it's going to be an enthusiastic this is going to be something that you want to do you want to wake up and you want to go do the job instead of whatever this is of oh god i don't want to do this anymore like oh my god stressing out there's a lot of stressful energy here there's just very 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 much amount of stress lots of it um things just have to be perfect and they have to be spot on and it's just woo um and but the, yeah you've got this this new job that's going to be enthusiastic and fun and passion filled and you're going to want to work you're going to want to do the work and it's going to be awesome and if it's i really do think it's a job or maybe like i said maybe it's a hobby it could be a hobby that you turn into a job and it's something that you do want to do it's something that you're good at and something that you maybe yeah maybe it's a hobby that's turning into a job um but over here not but and over here we've got the queen of cups king of cups two of cups four of wands and then you've got this guy which he is the king of wands he is stable committed Ooh, he's going to make things happen he is going to get what he wants he's going to fulfill his desires he's going to go out and he's going to turn the world to how he wants it and how and he's going to make it how he wants it so huh uh, psychic energy if you will um maybe that's your thing because you've got the eight of cups which is you've gotten the fulfillment of the material and you're going and you're going to go get this this new spiritual perspective and this new spiritual um fulfillment because you've got every, you've got the You've got the material fulfillment. Now it's time to go get the spiritual fulfillment, along with the third eye, which is known for open the gateway into the other dimensions and all that loveliness. So, um, you've got those two cards. So maybe this is about really tuning into that intuitive side of yourself, really feeling the feelings that you feel, and expressing them instead of hiding them, instead of being so tied up and pent up letting that go and expressing yourself and the love that you do have and enthusiasms that you do have and and i feel once you do this once you break free of these restraints meditate um really focus on you how to get out of your comfort zone Honestly, if you were to get out of this comf this comfort zone, it's not comfortable at all. But if you were to get out of this comfort zone, my God, do you have such great possibilities? You have got a um, romantic what's it called? Potential romantic partner. This 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 relationship and this job, hobby, whatever, whatever this is, this the skill that you have that is going to bring about that you're going to work on and you're going to have a fun fun time and then you've got these guys this could also indicate a marriage and then the two of cups which is mutual attraction mutual feelings mutual emotional attraction um and then you've got the king and the queen of cups like come on now this is a romance of a lifetime i don't really I'm not i'm gonna say romance of a lifetime but it's not really a romance of a lifetime it's just a very strong very loving connection and it's going you have so many possibilities you've got the world you yeah you've got the world upon your shoulder 
or whatever that phrase is. And the um, Wheel of Fortune. You've got so many opportunities and so many possibilities. So maybe just this, this energy right here, the having the clarity of what you want. I mean, meditating, maybe that's what you have to do is meditate and um, really go in your mind and really figure out what you want. And um, then once, you, once you're clear on that, you can go about creating what you want. And what you want and the possibilities are absolutely endless. You have got everything under your nose. You've got everything right there. You've got all the potential, the fulfillment of wishes, a positive movement forward. This is about feeling your, feeling, embracing your energy and embracing your ability, your skills, your abilities, what you're good at. This is about embracing that and making, making something of it and having the best time. If this isn't a relationship, then this is just having the best time of your life, having the most joyous, most fun-loving and happy, happy-go-lucky feeling. Like, it's just the most wonderful feeling. And you've got it all. It's just, you have to stop feeling this way. Stop feeling like you have to fight and have to hide yourself because you don't have to hide yourself. Don't hide yourself. Stop, stop hiding your feelings and stop being so conflicted. You don't need the mental conflict. You don't need that crap. So how to get out of your comfort zone? Really tune into your abilities and tune into what makes you feel good. And it might be a little bit scary. I really I think I think this you you guys I think are going to have the easiest time with moving forward. Um out of all the readings that I've, I've done, you guys are going to have, it's going to be the swiftest for you. Um, because I feel like you're already there. You've just got some things that, this is, you just, you need to express yourself. It's now, you expression. It's time to express what you're feeling, what you're thinking. Um, and not necessarily speaking, but you can, you can represent it in many different forms. So you guys, you guys might be more artsy. I don't know about artsy, but you guys are very dedicated to your work and you're very committed to what you do. And you want to have fun doing it. Like who doesn't? And that if you just stop whatever this job or whatever this relationship, whatever the situation is that's caused you to be kind of like, ee, um Let it go, and I don't think it's going to be all that hard for you to just drop it and move on to this energy and get the clarity, so that once you get the clarity, you can finally move on, and all of your wishes and everything is going to come to fruition, and everything is going to be fulfilled, and everything's going to be happy. So, I hope this resonated with you guys. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. I hope you like, subscribe, comment whatever yes tell me tell me tell me how this went for you i i do enjoy your comments thank you thank you thank you again for joining me <laughs> hope you have a lovely day